Hello everybody, Cslurk here and welcome back to another Sun and Moon Wi-Fi battle. Uh, gonna be using the same team as the last time. I don't know, I, I wasn't really expecting to have a battle when I, you know, when I had this one, so I kinda just went along, you know, with the same team, but that ended up being a pretty good battle. Uh, I'm gonna lead off with Charizard just because it's like the best lead against like most of his stuff minus I guess uh, You know Tapu Koko as he leads off with Heatran. I'm gonna predict the switch, you know the You know that easy switch into Tapu Fini go for the uh, what's it called you know Mega Evolve and then go for Solar Beam and I'm gonna do well over 50% uh, to this Tapu Fini, so yeah, first turn into the battle, and, and you know, I'm already doing like pretty good. I already got off a ton of damage on, you know, one of the more annoying Pokemon that I would have to deal with, since everything else on my team, I mean, it can't, like, everything else on my team, like, it's all, it's mostly ice, so like, I can't really do much damage to this thing, so yeah, it's really nice to get off that much damage on that thing this early on, but now here, I'm gonna predict another switch. Uh, he, he, I'm going into Tarantar, thinking that he can come in, set up the sandstorm and then I'd be locked uh, in a two turn solar beam but no I, I just predict that and go for the focus blast don't miss and I destroy that uh, Tyranitar which means that this extra drill as as soon as the sandstorm goes away this extra drill will be outsped by my Charizard and my Charizard will be able to pretty much take care of uh, uh, I guess like three of his other Pokemon that he has so yeah my Charizard right now most important Pokemon I, I uh obviously need to switch out everything I have is obviously weak to you know like steel and rock slide which is what he was gonna go for so yeah he goes for it I live it with 20 which is you know nice I'll be able to just throw off a blizzard since nine tails will be faster than uh, extra drill and I also see that his extra drill is a life orb so it's not choice scarf so I don't have to fear it outspeeding my Charizard so anyway his Charizard comes in and I do an absolutely stupid move like literally like I was like, okay, he's gonna Mega Evolve, it's gonna be Y, and then my Blizzard's gonna miss, so I, you know, I'll set up the Aurora Belt. No, I'm a, I'm a freaking idiot, oh my god. I should've, I should've just switched that into my Charizard, or like, or even just gone for the Hypnosis, like seriously, I sh like anything else would've been better than that play. That play was just so bad, and, and it really hurt me a lot, because now my Sand Slash and Baratic won't be able to outspeed anything, you know, he has. Uh... But yeah, I go into Weavile, I, f uh, I forget why exactly, I think he was gonna go for like another Solar Beam or something, I'm not sure, but uh, he misses the Fire Blast on my Charizard, and then I win the Speed High, and just kill off his Charizard, so yeah, you know, that was pretty good. Anyway, Tapu Koko is in here, and this play right here, like, never take risk like this, it's just not worth it. I should have just gone into my Mammal Swine. I was thinking, hmm, Mammoth Swan plays too obvious. He's probably just gonna U-turn and then I'll be able to get off a of free fire blast. No, that did not work out at all. He my my Charizard Y just went down and that like seriously hurt like my chances of winning. But yeah, now Mammoth Swan comes in and he just U-turns out of there anyway. So like man, that was just so bad on my part. Like seriously, I should not have risked the Charizard. Uh but yeah, he U-turns out on my Earthquake, I finish off the top of Fini, now Ferritorn's in here, and this thing is just like, ah, oh, if I still had my Charizard, this thing would just get obliterated, but no. You know, it's in here, I really don't have anything to hit him with, so I just go for the Icicle Crash, hope I do big damage, hope I, you know, get a flinch, something along those lines, as, uh, none of that happens. And right here, I was so close to hitting Earthquake, just because Earthquake would hit, if he wanted to switch out, Earthquake would hit whatever he brought in for Super Effective and more than likely kill it. But then I'm like, no, like he wouldn't switch out, so I just go for Icicle Crash and try to hope for another flinch on the Ferritorn. And unfortunately, his extra drill came in. So yeah, had I gone for Earthquake, I would have, you know, taken it out without, you know, like taking like damage on my uh, Sand Slash. Uh, but his extra drill does go down to his own life orb, so we both have a double down. And right here, I was thinking, if he goes into Ferritorn, I want to go Weavile, and if he goes into Tapu Koko, I want to go into my Baratic, because my Baratic has a Assault Vest, and I'll be able to take a Thunder Roll for sure, and then, you know, like, you know, hit him back with something. And unfortunately, he goes into Tapu Koko. Uh, I go for the Ice Shard, just because Tapu Koko is faster, and Tapu Koko just obliterates my uh, Weavile. So now, I have to hope that this kills. It doesn't kill. I'm like, okay, it did under 50, and now this Thunderbolt does over 50. So yeah, that is going to be GG. Yeah, that is uh, quite unfortunate. 
I'm honestly legit like upset over that loss just because of the turn where I, I left my Charizard in there and just sacked it to pretty much this Tabu Goku. I should have just gone into Mammal Swine. Like the risk was way too high. Like Charizard was like such like like as long as I had Charizard, like he was always gonna be down as long as I had Charizard. And then I just risked it like that because I'm a freaking idiot. So yeah. Lesson of the battle, don't be an idiot. Don't make giant risks like that because it, it won't work out and then you'll pretty much just lose the battle. So yeah. Uh GG. I mean either way, GG to my opponent. It was still a good game. Uh, tomorrow I won't be uploading some Sun and Moon. I will actually have I actually have a black and white NU battle that I'm gonna be uploading. So yeah, I'm pretty hyped about that. Um, Beck asked me if I wanted to have an NU game with him, and I was like, hell yeah, let's go. And then like an hour and thirty minutes later, while well, you know both of us had to you know set it up, uh, we ended up having the battle. But I'm actually kind of happy because I actually found a couple uh, better ways to you know make battling in like the DS games a lot more reliable so yeah look forward to that battle tomorrow it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty good and other than that yeah thank you guys for watching and you know I'll see you guys later